Hey everyone, Ammunition Depot. So it's been a while since we shared anything with you on YouTube. The good news is, we're going to fix that right now. We're going to give you a rundown on the new CZ 600 series bolt action rifle. It's an innovative rifle and it's got some really interesting features. The questions are, is it a game changer and could it be the next rifle for you? Well, stick around for this video and we'll find out. Okay, so what is the CZ600? Well, it's an entirely new design from CZ that replaces their 550 series. So going forward, this is it for their center fire bolt actions. It comes in three action lengths, mini, medium, and long. It's gonna be available in four different models in the US. For right now, we're gonna concentrate on just going over the features that all the models have in common. This model happens to be the Alpha. So one of the most defining features of the CZ600 is in fact it's a quick change barrel system and it's really easy to do. You simply loosen three screws at the bottom of the receiver and the barrel pulls out through the front. The locking lugs of the bolt actually lock in the lugs that are machined into the back of the barrel. So it's kind of like a barrel extension on an AR, but it's all one piece. This barrel system will let shooters basically chamber different cartridges in their rifle or take it apart for transport, storage, or even cleaning for those, you know, actually clean their rifle. So talking about the barrel is a great segue to talk about the bolt. As we mentioned, the bolt locks up in the lugs machined in the back of the barrel. The bolt is a 60 degree bolt throw, so it's easy to work the action and it's very quick to work the action. It also has two rows of three lugs, so it makes it a very strong action. One thing CZ fans will notice, the bolt does not have the classic Mauser style claw extractor. That's okay. The CZ600 is actually still controlled round feed. It doesn't have the old claw style extractor. Another note about the bolt is it does have a cocking indicator. So a quick glance, you see a little red tab on the back, and you know the bolt has been cocked. So another important note about the bolt is the bolt head is actually removable. This is to accommodate different cartridges that have different bolt faces when you change out the barrels. So for instance, in a mini action, if you go to from 223 to 762 by 39, you'll be able to get a bolt face or a bolt head that will accommodate that cartridge change. So one feature I really like on the CZ600 is its patented trigger. It's adjustable and has four detent settings, so you don't have to worry about set screws, jam nuts, or anything like that. You simply adjust it where you want it, and that's that. The lowest setting is somewhere around 1.5 to 1.8 pounds, and the highest setting is somewhere just over 5 pounds. The measurements are in Newton meters, but that's about what it works out to. Detachable magazines are great on a hunting rifle, right up until you accidentally drop it or lose it, or it comes loose and causes a malfunction. The CZ600 has a really great solution to that. Basically, a locking detachable magazine. Once the magazine's inserted, you simply push the magazine release button forward. Now it's locked in place. Another nice feature about the mag is that you can actually top load it. So you can either top off the magazine with one or two rounds, or you can load the gun in its entirety without removing the magazine. The safety is a bit different. It's referred to as a vertical cross bolt safety. So it's located where a top tang safety would be, right here behind the bolt shroud. But instead of pushing the button forward, you push it up or down. Now, the nice thing about this is, you can actually feel whether the safety is engaged or not simply by feel with your middle finger or your thumb. So right now the rifle's on safe, and with my hand, well, I'll do this left-handed. Right now I can feel with my middle finger the safety is engaged. Simply put the rifle on fire, and now I can feel the bottom of the button on my middle finger, so you can easily work the safety without taking your hand off the grip. The safety on the CZ600 locks the bolt in place when it's engaged. That's a great feature, it keeps the action from accidentally coming open, in particular if the bolt handle hangs up on a pack or something like that. So if you need to work the bolt, but want to keep the gun in a safe operating condition, the CZ600 has a bolt lock override. You simply push down on this button, now you can work the bolt, and you can work the action and the rifle stays in the safe condition. This is really handy for clearing the rifle, topping off the magazine, dealing with the potential malfunction. It's just a nice setup. So one thing CZ fans will notice is the rifle no longer has the proprietary dovetail for CZ rings. I think this is a great feature. It gives the shooter a lot more options for scope rings and bases. Some models will actually be drilled and tapped for scope mounts, or like this Alpha, they'll actually have the Picatinny style bases machined right in the receiver. This is gonna make mounting a scope really simple. Well, now the fun part. Now it's time to mount up a scope, get to the range, and we're gonna see how well it shoots, and we're gonna see whether or not it returns to zero when we take the barrel off and reinstall it.
I don't care who you are. It's a good looking setup. So between the hunt in the Czech Republic and a range session, I've had some time with the rifle now, so I thought I'd share some interim thoughts. I say interim because I'm gonna shoot this rifle a lot more. So we'll probably come back with a video for some final thoughts or long-term thoughts, but for right now, I'm impressed with this rifle. I really like it. It's easy to shoot, it shoots well. It seemed to have liked just about anything we wanted to shoot through it. And it definitely has some innovative features, which brings us to the questions we asked at the start of the video. Is this EZ600 a game changer? And could it be the next bolt action rifle for you? Whether or not it's a game changer really depends on your opinion. However, it does have innovative features. I love the trigger on this thing. It's easy to adjust. It's great having the very positive detents. I set it while I was out on the bench. It's really easy to use. The cross bolt safety, vertical cross bolt safety is also really easy to use, very intuitive. And once you get used to it, which doesn't take long, it's very pleasant, very positive and gives you a lot of security, you're going to be able to manipulate the controls when you need to. I also like the fact that the bolt locks in place when the gun's on safe, but it's also easy to override just with a simple push of a button, and you can still work the gun while it's on safe. The interchangeable barrel system is fantastic. It's really one of the easiest that I know of right now. No special tools, and more importantly, as promised, it did in fact return to zero when the barrel was reinstalled. We took the barrel on and off on the bench, reinstalled it, shot the group and it went right back to where the previous groups were. I would have no qualms taking the barrel off in the middle of a hunt if I had to, say I dropped it in the mud or something, reinstalling the barrel and continuing the hunt. I wouldn't even worry about re-zeroing the gun. So, you know, overall, I think it's a really great rifle and definitely worth looking at. So it brings us to the second question. Could this be the next bolt action rifle for you? If you're looking for a gun below $800 MSRP that has an adjustable trigger, a great safety, a bolt that locks when the gun is in the safe position, and interchangeable barrels, this gun would be really tough to beat. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video and found the information useful. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below or contact us on social media. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.